Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a personal box of 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. This one's for David Barros, Mr. Barros. Uh, for tonight only, I've also, because we popped open a fresh case, I said, hey, I'll let everyone uh, who buys tonight only to pick which box they want to do. Choose their own adventure. And Dave picks box six, or did box eight. So mid middle column seems to be popular. And even numbers seem to be popular. There's box six right here. There's my knife. In my pocket? Just not, should I just open these like a savage with my hands? I think I have to. Like some sort of some sort of Hulk. Rawr. So there we go. There's the box topper here. Now, I have to put this on the record, Dave. Since I'm recording this video, I have to put this on the record that Mr. Barros and I came up, struck a deal. That that if that if a red ink out of 69 Otani autograph pops out of here. That Mr. Barros will be uh, will be happy to treat me with a uh, with a nice tip bottle of Johnny Walker Blue. So good luck, Mr. Barros, and good luck me. I've not tried it. This is a free advertisement for Johnny Walker. Twenty one or older, but if you if, if you're if you have a chance. It's pretty delicious. I've only had, only had it once. But some good old Johnny Walker blue. All right. <laughs> Chances of that are pretty slim. But if it does happen, I think everyone will be happy. And this will be a good way. This might be our last box of the night. So I know. Watch it to one of one instead. Then I lose out on the scotch. That's what Jason McKee's saying. Watch jokes on you, Joe. Watch the one of one. Scotch deal off. If I pull a one of one Otani autograph, I'm not even coming into work tomorrow. We have to hit the reset button on that because everything else will be a letdown on Saturday. I'll just get I'll just get in the car and start driving. I'll i I'll get in the car and just start driving to Dave Barros's in Northern California. I'll get there in eight hours, Dave. <laughs> you know? And I'll del I'll hand deliver that to you. A uh, boombox says a one of one deserves a bottle of Highland Park 25. I don't think I've ever had a Highland Park. I think the oldest booze that I've boozed. I think of the Cowan 25, I think. Those are that's, that was pretty good too. All right. Good luck, Mr. Barrows. Thank you for grabbing this box. Uh, as to how rare those out of 69s are, I mean, you know, 69 of them out of thousands and thousands of cards. It's going to be hard to get, that is for sure. I mean, does it say? I mean, we have time to look at this here, or at the end of the night anyway. Um, uh, real one autograph single, relic gold, relic patch, dual relic, dual patch, triple relic, triple one. You know we haven't pulled any of those those coin cards yet. Flashback autograph patch, half dollar, the buyback, Seattle Pilots autograph. Cut signatures. I don't see autograph red. I 
don't know. It might be, I mean, really, it's just like 69 of them in the entire print run, which is just going to be, which is just massive. I think you can probably go to the checklist and you could probably math your way into kind of guesstimating how many how many uh, cases there are. I think there is there should be a way to do it. It's harder if there's no case hits. I think products with case hits, it's kind of easier to to math your way into figure out how many cases they made. But judging from some of the prints and everything, some of the numbered cards and then the odds, there should be a way to to figure it out. But you know, usually there's a lot. I mean, which is one of the reasons why that particular um, Otani red ink autograph that's on that secondary market, that's why it's, uh, that's why it's selling for so much with still like a day or two left in that auction. Supply, classic supply and demand. And there is new Padre Eric Hosmer, but he's still in his Royals gear here. 465 out of 569. Doesn't look like an autograph in this box, my friend. But George Springer, game used memorabilia. We tried. Well, hey, we can still get an Otani variation or any of the other short printed variations. Could help pay for the box. We've seen like some of those nickname variations sell for a lot. That might be an, yeah, I think that is an action variation. Yeah, I think it's 01 at the bottom. So an action variation of Carlos Correa. <laughs> Joe P, what's going on? He's, Joe P is asking, what is this garbage that we're breaking? That's his word. Uh, Heritage, man. Heritage Baseball, where the Otani Red Ink autographs are selling for $4,700 at the moment with still a day or so left. So uh, John is saying that one red in every about three and a half cases. Well, we've done about, I think this would be our like third case, I think. We haven't seen any red ink autographs, let alone an Otani red ink autograph. All right, we're coming to the end. Good luck, David. Thanks for getting in. Look at this Angels guy. I see Andrew Heaney. That's not who we want. Sorry, Albert. Now, Dave, be sure to check the backs of the cards in CardboardConnection.com because there, there's, I'm sure there's a number, I'm sure there's a bunch of short prints or something that I may have missed. All that stuff adds up in a set like this, which is popular with set builders and whatnot. And well, we still got that action variation. Not too many of those out there. Carlos Correa, the Relic, and the Eric Cosmer. Let's see what we got in this bad boy here. Good luck and thank you. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You probably you'd be surprised at how some of this stuff would sell, though. Four hits, two homers for Chris Bryant. Also triples in that win. There he is, and we've got Chris Davis, Eric Sogard, and Yankees, Sonny Gray. He's finally his Yankees gear for you. And there you have it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks very much for getting into that heritage. The Otani hunt and the variation hunts continue. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.